Hey there, everyone. Today, we're diving into something you've probably seen countless times on the road, but might not have thought much about. Tank trailers. Yes, those massive trucks transporting liquids like gasoline, water, milk, and chemicals. Have you ever wondered why they have that distinctive rounded shape? Well, today I'm here to break it down for you in a straightforward way, and you might be surprised by all the fascinating science behind their design. First, let's talk about physics. In a conventional cargo truck, the load exerts downward pressure. However, when it comes to liquids in a tank, they exert pressure in all directions. The cylindrical shape of tank trailers allows this pressure to distribute evenly, preventing excessive strain on the corners or walls, which could happen with square containers. Imagine inflating a balloon. The air pressure is distributed evenly throughout, helping the balloon keep its shape without bursting. The same principle applies to tank trailers, especially when they're full or carrying gases under high pressure. But here's the twist. Driving a tank trailer can be much more dangerous than driving a regular truck, and the reason lies in inertia. Inertia is the resistance of any object to a change in its state of motion. For liquids inside a tank trailer, this can have significant effects. When a truck accelerates, brakes, or turns, the liquid inside the tank continues moving in its original direction due to inertia. This can create a sloshing effect, causing the liquid to shift forward and backward or side to side. When braking, the liquid moves forward, pushing against the front wall of the tank, which can increase stopping distances and destabilize the truck, something that's especially dangerous during emergency maneuvers. Conversely, when accelerating, the liquid shifts to the back, impacting traction and stability. In turns, the liquid tends to move outward, which can lead to a dangerous tilt and increase the risk of a rollover, particularly during sharp turns or in adverse conditions. To combat the dangers of liquid inertia, tank trailers are typically equipped with internal partitions called baffles. These baffles divide the tank into smaller compartments, limiting the space where the liquid can move. This setup reduces sloshing and minimizes the magnitude of liquid movement, thereby improving the trailer's stability and making it safer to maneuver and brake. Additionally, baffles help distribute the load more evenly, preventing all the liquid weight from concentrating at a single point while the vehicle is in motion. Depending on their design, these partitions also allow for the transportation of different liquids on the same trip without mixing them, which is a logistical advantage. Tank trailers vary significantly in design and features depending on the type of cargo they carry. For example, those transporting fuels are typically constructed from stainless steel or aluminum to resist corrosion. These trailers usually have internal compartments and baffles to prevent excessive movement of the liquid, enhancing vehicle stability. Additionally, they come equipped with advanced safety systems like emergency valves and fire prevention devices due to the highly flammable nature of their contents. You might see short tank wagons or long Class 8 trailers capable of carrying up to 8,500 gallons of fuel, as long as they adhere to the weight regulations set by different countries. On the other hand, trailers designed for transporting water are usually made from stainless steel or reinforced plastic, depending on whether the water is potable. These tank wagons often have fewer internal compartments due to the lower fire risk. Many also include pumping systems to facilitate unloading at the destination. When it comes to food products like liquid milk, these trailers are constructed from stainless steel to maintain high hygiene standards and prevent contamination. They often have refrigeration systems to keep the milk at optimal temperatures during transit and are designed for easy cleaning and disinfection. Chemical tankers require materials that resist corrosion, typically stainless steel or other specific materials. They feature compartments and ventilation systems to avoid gas buildup and are equipped with spill containment and explosion protection systems to ensure safety. For compressed gases, tank trailers are made from high-strength steel to handle internal pressure. Their cylindrical design withstands high pressures much better and includes high-pressure valves and safety systems to prevent explosions. These trailers commonly transport gases like propane, butane, and oxygen. 
Lastly, tank trailers that transport powdered products like milk powder or cement are often made from carbon steel or aluminum. These trailers come with aeration and vibration systems to ease the unloading of powder and are equipped with compressors for efficient handling of dry and powdered materials. The differences in design and materials ensure that each type of cargo is transported safely and efficiently while meeting the specific requirements of the substance being carried. Now, let's discuss two key aspects of tank trailers, legal regulations and safety protocols. Tank trailers are subject to strict international regulations designed to ensure the safe transportation of hazardous materials. In the United States, the Department of Transportation establishes guidelines that govern the construction, maintenance, and operation of these trailers. In Europe, similar standards are set by the European Agreement concerning the international carriage of dangerous goods by road. To operate a tank trailer, compliance with various certifications and legal requirements is essential. This includes initial certification of the trailer, periodic inspections, and specific testing for different types of cargo. Inspections must be conducted regularly, depending on the cargo type and local regulations. For instance, trailers carrying hazardous chemicals may require more frequent checks than those transporting potable water. The second key aspect is cleaning and disinfecting tank trailers, particularly those carrying food products and chemicals. This process not only ensures hygiene and safety, but also prevents cross-contamination between different loads. For trailers transporting food items like liquid milk, maintaining high cleaning standards is crucial. Methods include hot water washing at high pressure, using disinfectant solutions, and automated cleaning systems to ensure that all internal surfaces are free of residues and microorganisms. Tank trailers must undergo regular inspections to verify structural integrity and the proper functioning of all components. Valves, safety systems, and internal baffles need periodic checks for wear, corrosion, or damage. Additionally, pressure and leak tests must be conducted to ensure that no leaks compromise transport safety. We'd love to hear from truck drivers who have experience handling these types of trailers. What's your take on safety during loading and unloading? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to check out this video we think you'll find interesting as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.